All right, thank you, Steve. People in Waterville continue to mourn tonight, days after a 29-year-old father was stabbed and shot to death. Police say his neighbor, who orchestrated a lengthy standoff with them, was the one who killed Brandon Sherwin, the son of former NFL player Tim Sherwin. Kimberly Howard is back from a candlelight vigil in Brandon's honor tonight. And Kimberly, it was a big show of support there, I understand. Yeah, that's right, Greg. One of Sherwin's childhood friends told me he would have given anybody his last dollar, his daughter and his guitar, his everything. Tonight, it was obvious Sherwin's music and big heart touched many people. Dozens of people leave footprints in the fresh coating of snow that blankets the basketball court at Brotherhood Park in Waterville. It's all less than a mile away from where police say 29-year-old Brandon Sherwin was murdered. He just, you know, was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and um, he's going to be greatly missed. Everyone is going to just um, feel this for forever. Family and friends say Sherwin was only trying to be a friend to his neighbor, Michael Fox, when something went terribly wrong. Police arrested Fox for Sherwin's murder after an hours-long standoff in the cold. That same chill lingering over the city as those who love him lit candles, released lanterns, exchanged hugs and tears. Uh, Brandon was a great guy. He loved his music. He loved his daughter with a fire passion like nobody else. Um, he had the biggest heart that ever, I've ever noticed and ever seen. My forever time friend, I love him and he, uh, he'll always be a part of me and um, I get to see that inside my daughter every day. And a GoFundMe page has been set up to help with funeral expenses as well as to help Sherwin's beloved four-year-old daughter, Lillian Page. We have a link to that on our website, cbs6albany.com. As for the suspect in all this, Michael Fox, he waived his right to a preliminary hearing just this morning. The case has now been handed up to Albany County Court. Liz.